So today we'll be looking at the previous year sign a question paper for class 6. Okay. So the questions will be in MCQ format. For each question you will be provided four options and from that you're supposed to pick up a single answer. So let's move on to the question. Today we'll be looking at a 2021 paper. Right. So fill in the blanks with the most appropriate option. Okay. The first question is the news is all dash the internet. Okay. So we have been given four options. The first one is on, through, over, near. Okay. The news is all on the internet. No, that's not right. Isn't it? So news is all over the internet. Right. It is all over the internet. Like say for example, this is internet. It connects to everywhere. Right. It's all over the internet. Right. Over is the right answer. It's all over the internet. So say for example, you're not aware of which one is the right answer. So you can you can check on with all the options. Okay, Let, let's say the news is all on the internet. No. Okay. And then the news is all through the internet. No. Right. The news is all near the internet. No. So hence the right answer is third. Right. It is the news is all over the internet. Let's move on to the second question. We studied about dash Roman Empire in school. So this question deals with article, right? Article. So what are the articles? We have A, an, and D, right? When do we use an? We use, we use A for consonants, right? We use an for the vowels. Let's say A, E, I, O, U, right? The words beginning with these letters A, E, I, O, U. So ahead of it, we'll be using the word an. Okay? And for the rest of the words, we'll be using A. Right? And there are like certain, let's say you're, uh, you're naming someone or let's say you're naming a place. Right? In that condition, you'll be using the word the. Right? So we studied about the Rom Roman Empire in school. Right, because it Roman Empire, it is about a place, isn't it? It's about a place, right? So in this context, we tend to use the word the, right? So let's move on to the third question. Fill in the blanks with the most appropriate option. There was no one else in the room dash colon, right? So from this question, we get to know that there's a room, right? And does and that everyone is present there. Just colon alone is not present. Okay, so that is the context here. So in regard with this, so there was no one else in the room dash colon. So let's have a look at the first option. Okay, accept. Accept. The first accept, the, uh, the meaning of the word A, C, C, E, P, T is wherein, like let's say you're agreeing to something or you're accepting something, right? No, that's not the right answer here. Accept, right? E, X, C, E, P, T, right? Accept. Okay, let's say I want to have vegetables except for brinjal or something, right? As in you're not going to include that alone, right? So hence the right answer is except, right? Except Colin. There was no one else in the room except Colin, right? The spelling is not right, right? This question, this spelling is not right. So we are cancelling this option. This one is not right as well, right? So we are cancelling that as well. Let's move on to the fourth question. Rearrange the following words or phrases to make meaningful sentences. So we've been provided with words, like basically like jumbled word, words. You're supposed to form a sentence and that sentence is supposed to make sense. All right. So choose the correct sequence. Let's have a look at the question. The sun you of must st stay out, right? Stay out. So let's have a look at the options first. E C A D B. So E C A D B as in stay out, right? Stay out of the sun must no, right? This there's an error over here. So we're canceling the first option. Let's have a look at the second option. A B C D E. The sun U of must stay out. So we are canceling this one as well. Let's move on to the third option. B, D, E, C, A. As in you must stay out, right? Stay out of 
the sun right you must stay out of the sun this one sounds right right let's have a look at the fourth option as well right to check if even that is right d e c a b must stay out of the sun u so we are cancelling this one as well because the rest of the three options doesn't form a proper sentence right whereas in regard with the third one b d e c a what does it convey it says you must stay out of the sun of the sun right let's say this may the sentence makes sense right it is a proper sentence right you must stay out of the sun so the right answer is third one right b d e c a is the right answer so let's move on to the next question fifth one rearrange the following words or phrases to make meaningful sentences okay so we have words as in i i immediately salary my want so right when you get to read the answer like the option you get to know that the sentence is supposed to start with i right i so let's have a look at the options which start with i a okay a as in a so this must be the right answer but let's have a look at it again okay it says a e d c b i want my salary immediately right this one makes sense let's have a look at the first one up as well right b a e d c as in immediately i want my salary right immediately i want my salary or is it i want my salary immediately okay so we are cancelling this one as well the fourth third one is d c a e b my salary i want immediately no right so we are cancelling this one as well let's have a look at the fourth one it says e a d c b as in want i my salary immediately no so the right answer is a e right a e d c b as in i want my salary immediately right i want my salary immediately i want my salary immediately is the right answer so um i'll give you uh, you know like let's say hints to you know as of how to find the answer of how to guess the right answer like make sure that you read the jumbled words first and then have a look at the options okay have a look at the options and check which one sounds right like as in the sentence is supposed to make sense right it is supposed to form a sentence so please keep that in mind okay and in certain sentences you will get to know that the sentence is supposed to begin with certain word like in regard with this question we get to know that it is supposed to begin with i right i immediately want my salary right i want my salary immediately right i it is supposed to begin with i okay so let's have a uh, look at the sixth question do as directed there are some diseases that are inherited right so uh, we are supposed to identify the kind of noun in regard with the sentence right there are some diseases that are inherited right some diseases that are inherited so let's have a look at the option diseases is a proper noun diseases is an abstract noun diseases is in collective noun diseases is in common noun right so um, i hope you guys know what a what a what a noun is right what a noun is so in regard with this question we are given the word disease from the sentence right and you are supposed to find out what kind of a noun it is right we are supposed to find out what kind of a noun so in regard with this one what is a proper noun a proper noun uh, basically let's say they are nouns uh, you know it it tends to you know like project the real names uh, let's say 
uh, see it, it very bluntly mentions as disease okay it doesn't specify what kind of a disease say for example it had mentioned malaria right there are some malaria that are inherited so if that was the case it would have been proper noun because right because the specific disease has been said here okay so we are cancelling the first option so disease is, is definitely not a collective term as well right so we have abstract and common noun abstract is not right as well right because abstract is more to do with the qualities of a human right let's say beauty bravery brilliance and so on right so the right answer is common noun right so what is a common noun so the word disease is a common noun right so what is a common noun common noun what does it do it tells us right it tells us right it it tends to tell us the overall thing it doesn't specify any name for the matter okay let's say a common noun uh, it tells us uh, the name let's say it tells us the name given to a person given to a person place or thing in general right or thing in general right it gen it is general it doesn't specify what kind of a disease is it right so the right answer is common noun right disease is a common noun i hope you guys understood let's move on to the seventh question after school you and i i'm sorry after school you and dash must discuss few things right choose the correct pronoun so we are supposed to choose the pronoun here right so what is a pronoun a pronoun is a word that is used for a noun isn't it that is used for a noun so we have the options such as him me i v after school you and him must discuss few things no after school you and me must discuss few things no after school you and i must discuss few things right i is the right answer here right because it deals with pronoun and the word i what kind of a pronoun is it what kind of a pronoun is it is it it is called as personal pronoun right personal pronoun right uh, let's say a word such as you i he she right all these kind of words tend to relate to personal pronoun so the right answer is personal pronoun after school you and i must discuss few things right let's have a look at the eighth one it is quite warm dash use a question tag so you'll be given a sentence and then you you're supposed to form a question out of it right you're supposed to uh, create a question tag so the basic rule in regard with question tag is that let's say if these okay let's say these are the statement right and these are the question tag right statement and the question tag let's say if the statement is negative right if the statement is negative the question tag will always be positive right whereas if the statement is positive the question tag will be negative and there are certain cases in which if the statement is positive the question tag can be positive as well right but in regard with negative if a statement is negative it will always carry a positive tag so let's have a look at the question it is quite warm so we get to know that it is a positive statement right it is a positive statement so hence we get to know that it is supposed to be negative right so it is quite it is quite warm right it is quite warm isn't it right so isn't it is the right answer right we already have it is right so it is from this we are deriving isn't it right so it is is it a so basically it is a negative tag right so isn't it is the right answer here let's have a look at the ninth one leave your bags at the gate identify the type of sentences right you're supposed to identify the type of sentence so we have given few options imperative declarative interrogative exclamatory so in regard with exclamatory right it expresses surprise right it expresses surprise it expresses surprise in regard 
with interrogative it asks us something right it's more it's more to do with a question mark right eh? asks us something right okay let's move on to the declarative what is declarative declarative is basically like a statement right it just tells us something right tells us something okay in regard with imperative imperative is basically like a command right it tells us to do something it tells us to do something right so let's have a look at the sentence leave your bags at the gate as in from this we get to know that someone is instructing us to leave the leave the bag near the gate right leave your bags at the gate so it is more like a command isn't it so it is like a command right command so hence the sentence is imperative right because imperative sentence deals with command right it basically tells us to do something let's say and moreover imperative sentences most of the times ends with an exclamatory mark or ends with a full stop okay it ends with an exclamatory mark or a full stop in regard with exclamatory sentences it, it ends with exclamatory mark in regard with interrogative it always ends with an question mark right in regard with declarative it always ends with a full stop right it ends with a full stop in case of imperative it can either end with a exclamatory mark or a full stop okay so hence the answer is imperative love you, leave your bags at the gate let's have a look at the 10th question all right near the equator the sun dash greater quantities of water now right so we get to know that near the equator the sun does uh, sun goes through a process right so we have the options such as is evaporating evaporates has evaporated evaporate so evaporated deals with past right yeah it deals with past right has evaporated right has evaporated is evaporating is present participle right evaporates no near the equator the sun evaporate great quantities of water right it is a continuous process right it keeps happening all the time right so the answer is evaporate right evaporate near the equator the sun evaporate greater quantities of water because it it, it, it keeps happening right it keeps happening let's have a look at the 11th one choose the correct spelling so the word given is apartment right apartment let's say apart right apart right apartment okay if let's say for example up, let's take this word it says apartment okay but the word is basically apart up apartment right up apartment up apartment right so the right answer is a p p a r t m e n t right so we'll get to cancel this one because we get to know that it ends with m e n t and not m a n t so we are cancelling this one right in regard with the third one a p a r t m e n t so there's no double p right up there's no stress near the word p so we are cancelling this one as well so in regard with the with the second one a p a r t t m e n t we cancelling that well as well because it doesn't have stress near p there's no double p and there's a, there's a single t as well i mean there's a double t as well so hence we cancelling this one as well so the right answer is apartment right a p p a r t m e n t let's have a look at the 12th question today is dash day of my life right today is dash day of my life choose the correct adjective right we are supposed to choose the correct adjective so let's have a look at the given options we have more important less important important most important so today is right today is dash day of my life today is the most important day of my life right so we get to know less important cannot be the answer right so we are doing cancellation method here okay like we keep rejecting options that are not close to the question so we are rejecting less important so in regard with important today is the important day of my life now we are cancelling this as well 
so we have more important and most important right when do we use more right in comparison of two things right if that is the case you lose more right let's say say for example in regard with better and best right better and best when do you use better use better when there's a compa comparison between a and b or let's say there's comparison between two things in that case you'll be using better in regard with best let's say there are like a bunch of people or the, let's say there are a group of people in that case you'll be using the word best so in regard with this question today is the most important day of my life right let's move on to the third question 13th question poets are known to fly in their thoughts choose the word nearest in the meaning to the underlined word so let's have a look at the option we have sore sore sir sure right so we've been given four words and you are supposed to see let's say i mean have a look at this there's a word that has been underlined here right to fly so what what is what does it mean okay let's have a look at see let's we have sure right sure as in let's say you'll definitely do it right so we're cancelling this well okay and we have s o u r right it 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 it's more to do with the taste bud right so so we are cancelling as well i have a sore throat no s o a r right s o a r is the right word so s o a r is basically like let's say to fly or let's say rise high in the air right high in the air right so this is the right answer okay s o a r is the right answer let's have a look at the 14 question choose the most appropriate option which of the following option in the meaning of the word is the meaning of the word exhausted see let's say for example uh, i went to a i went to a theme park and i was exhausted right as in you ran out of energy right as in you were way too tired right so the answer is very tired right exhausted as in you have no energy left right no energy left so what happens when you have no energy left as in you are very tired so the answer is very tired let's have a look at the 15th question a confectioner is a person who sells let's have a look at the option sells tools sells confetti sells sweets sells clothes so we'll use cancellation method here so we will be rejecting sells tools he doesn't sell clothes as well he doesn't sell confetti he sells sweets right he sells sweets right so that is the right answer right what is a confectioner he basically sells sweet okay let's have a look at this 16 question the captain dash along with the player okay i have let's have a look at the options the captain was present was presenting have been presenting has been presenting okay so from this we get to know that we are cancelling was presenting and we are cancelling have been presenting and has been presenting so hence the right answer is was present right the captain the captain was present along the players right so that's the right answer let's move on to the next question person who dies not just person okay any human uh human being for that matter let's even say like animals or plants or let's say um, sorry animals birds or humans we have an end right there's an always an end for everything right end of life is called i mean when someone has a death is called mortal right right they are mortals but there are people who do not have death at all okay okay so in that case we'll be using the word im right immortal right immortal is the right answer here it's not unmortal it's not immortal dismortal no so immortal is the right word here the opposite of mortal is immortal so what kind of a question it is that deals with antonym right antonym okay let's have a look at the 18th one a dash of thieves was caught by the police right a dash of thieves thieves was caught by the police a swarm no a pack 
yes a pack of these right we say pack of these it's not batch or it's not team right it regards to pack a pack of the of thieves was caught by the police let's move on to the 19th question it has become a habit to dash do zoom up and then copy it from others so from here we get to know that there's a guy who doesn't do his homework and he copies it from others okay let's have a look at the option we have always often frequently never okay so let's first replace the first word it has become a habit to always do his homework and then copy no right if he has already done his homework why does he have to copy it from others right so we are cancelling the first one let's have a look at the second one does become a habit to often do his homework and then copy it from others right why would he copy if he had you know like frequently comes under the, almost comes under the same category so it is never right never it has become a habit to never do his homework and then copy it from others right it's just because he doesn't do his homework he's copying it from others right so let's have a look at the 20th one there were several dash at the conference right there were several dash at the conference so there were several women there were several women there were several women right it's not singular we are dealing with plural here right because there were several right so the answer is women right there were several women at the conference right let's move on to the 21st question to beat around the bush right to beat around the bush uh, what does beat around the bush basically mean it means let's say it discusses a matter without coming to the point right as in let's say uh you will have to let's say you are probably you probably have to tell to your friend that you won't be available tomorrow so instead of saying it directly you just you know keep rounding and rounding and then you get back to the point right so beating around the bush means to avoid saying something because it is uncomfortable or to come to the main point of the of the uh, conversation right so the right answer is to avoid say something because it is uncomfortable right that is why you keep rounding and rounding and then you come to the specified point right specific point let's have a look at the 22nd question my father is a bookworm he dash books to films and sports so we get to know that the father is basically a bookworm a bookworm is a person who reads a lot of books okay so Uh, we get to know that he he pref- uh, he likes reading books than watching films so my father is a bookworm he he is prefer books to films no we canceling the first one my father is a bookworm he prefer books to films no right he prefers right he prefers so instead of watching the film he prefers reading right so the right answer is prefers he prefers my father is a bookworm he prefers books to films and sports right let's have a look okay now we'll be dealing with comprehension passage okay we'll be dealing with comprehension passage now so there are like certain points to do, have a look at a compre- comprehension passage okay as of how to how you are supposed to look at a comprehension passage there are two ways okay the first way is you can first start reading the passage and then you can get back to the questions right uh, and make sure while reading the passage you you tend to you know mark the important points okay you imp- mark the mark the important points and there's one more way you can first start reading the questions and then you can get back to the passage okay so when you when you follow this process let's say i'm reading this sentence which of the following statement is not true about zeus and prometheus right so when i get to read all this these words or sentences tend to you know register there in some part of my mind so when i get back to the passage and read it it will instantly strike me okay so these are the two ways that you can deal with a comprehension passage you can either read the passage mark notes and then get back to the questions or you can get you can read the questions first and then you can get back to the passage so let's first have a look at the passage first let's read it once zeus and prometheus right zeus and prometheus from the very first humans had trouble with the greek gods most gods thought of humans as toys right gods thought of humans as toys 
but gods made friends with humans right one of these gods was prometheus the first people created by the gods lived happily together they thought gods were wonderful but their children were not as grateful or as content right but the children were not as grateful or as content the children argued among themselves and sometimes even argued with gods right they argued with gods as in the children argued with gods zeus was very disappointed in mankind right zeus was disappointed he decided to punish mankind by depriving them of a very important tool fire right as in he took away fire from humans prometheus felt sorry for his human friends fire was important for many things such as heat and cooking prometheus stole a lighting bolt from zeus and gave it to the mankind right he stole a lighting bolt from zeus and gave it to mankind that's when man discovered fire right that is when man discovered fire zeus was furious at prometheus has defied zeus he ordered prometheus be chained to a rock as punishment for stealing his lighting bolt and for going beyond his back to help the humans he made he made prometheus even more miserable zeus sent storms to beat angry waves against prometheus helplessly chained to his rock zeus made the sun shine really bright now and then to burn his skin it was hercules who finally released the helpless god from his chain right hercules was the one who finally released prometheus so we have marked down certain important points okay let's have a look at the questions first which of the following statement is not true okay not true about zeus and prometheus right let's read the first option most greek gods saw human as a means of entertainment okay so from this we get to know that gods thought humans as toys right they looked at the humans as toys and not entertainment right let's have a look at the second option prometheus was chained to a rock as he was a god right prometheus was chained to a rock because he was a god right so from here we get to know that see he ordered prometheus be chained to a rock as punishment for stealing his light bolt right why was he chained to a rock as a punishment for stealing his right bolt right right lighting bolt so we get to know that this answer is wrong right he was not punished because he was a god right he was punished because he stole a lightning lightning bolt from zeus let's have a look at the third one zeus was an unforgiving god who did not like to be disobeyed right so from here we get to know see zeus was very disappointed at mankind because right why because they argued with gods okay so this one is also true right hercules emerged as a survivor of prometheus right savior of from yeah we get to know, from this we get to know that hercules was the one who saved prometheus so the wrong answer is the not true the sentence that is not true is prometheus was chained to a rock as he was a god okay let's move on to the 24th question why was zeus angry and disappointed at humans right why was he angry and disappointed right see um zeus was very disappointed at mankind he decided to punish mankind by depriving them of a very important tool fire right why was he disappointed the children argued among themselves and sometimes even argued with the gods right they argued with the gods right let's have a look at the option they kept asking for fire no they were, they didn't ask for fire right the humans misused just lighting bolt no the humans were quarrelsome and didn't respect gods right they were quarrelsome and they didn't respect gods the humans were not intelligent enough to discover fire no the right answer why zeus was angry is because they were quarrelsome and uh, it, they did not respect gods and he was zeus was uh, angry at prometheus because he stole the lightning bolt right so the correct answer is third one right the humans were quarrelsome and did not respect the gods let's have a look at the 25th question last question what is the meaning of the underlying word prometheus had defied zeus so when you get to read this lion make sure that you are able to spot that particular statement in the passage see let's say zeus was furious right this is the statement here right zeus was furious 
as Prometheus has defied Zeus. So from this we get to know that Zeus was angry or furious because Prometheus just did not, let's say, he did not obey or listen to him for that matter, okay? Let's have a look at the options from. Prometheus had worshipped Zeus all his life? No. Right? That, that cannot be the meaning for the word defied. So what is the meaning of the word defied in general? It, it, let's say it means resist or let's say disobey. Right? Disobey would be perfect. Right? Disobey. So Prometheus had defamed Zeus. Prometheus detested Zeus for his attitude. Prometheus has disregarded the authority of Zeus. Right? So the right answer is Prometheus has disregarded the authority of Zeus, right? As in, he didn't listen or he basically disobeyed Zeus, right? So that is the right answer here. So these are the way as of how you're supposed to deal with the comprehension passage. You'll read the passage first. You'll mark down the no important points, right? You'll just, you know, probably, you know, like mark it out in your pencil. And then you'll start reading the questions, okay? Or... You can start reading the question first and then you can get back to the passage, okay? Both of it are, are doesn't consume much of your time, okay? But make sure that you're, you read the passage clearly, you read the questions questions clearly. Right? It says not true, like, right? It says not true. Make sure that you read the question properly, okay? Only then you will get to know what is there in the comprehension passage. And in comprehension passage is the question are those questions in which wherein you can score full marks okay so make sure that you read it properly so for further details please contact national defense institute right the phone number is given here right nine one five zero nine eight one four six two or you can even contact the email address info at national defense institute dot in or you can even check out their website www.nationaldefenseinstitute.in right so they'll uh, they'll cl clear your doubts you'll get to know about your course details right and your class details as well so thank you for watching make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel and for more videos please stay subscribed thank you